Alrighty. Hello, hello everybody. This is Kiru Show here, and now. Before we do begin, let us give a brief little review. In the last part, quite a number of things have happened. Now, we had Deku. We also had the Todoroki family. And things currently going on with UA and the League of Villains. Now, Deku was live streaming the events currently. While Deku is live streaming, UA is being attacked. And the heroes, they're trying to understand where his broadcast is coming from. And they're being diverted. Renegade's broadcast, it showed he was the genuine, real article. Rei Todoroki, Fiumi, and Natsuo Todoroki. Along with Mina Asho, who's been turned into a Nomu. And the actual Momo Yeirozu. Along with that, the Red Queen, somebody who Renegade works alongside. And dare I say, it does seem like Renegade has a interest in her. The two do appear to be possibly lovebirds. Now, a lot of people are watching this. However, right now, Yue is being attacked by the villains. And Dobby, yeah. He's trying to keep very carefully to his end of the deal. Capture a few students. Bring them back to Deku, and his family won't be harmed. His brother, yeah. If Deku's going to do anything, he'd start there. His mother is very mentally fragile. His father and other brother, Todoroki, they're more than likely watching the events and trying to track down Renegade. Now, Deku, yeah, he was bored, he was tired, and well, while the live stream was going, a lot of people were talking about it. Deku showed off Tokoyami's skull. He even did actually leave for a second. And whenever he did leave, there actually was the Red Queen, who, she was bored. She was sitting around, and then somebody else did come on camera. Another woman with a mask? Now, the Red Queen and this woman talked. And there actually was where the woman started to actually set down a golf ball before actually going to grab one of the golf clubs. Before actually going to aim and going to try and shoot one of the golf balls directly at the man they had tied a few hundred feet down. Now, the two were both talking. And this did continue on. And the live stream was confused. These two people work with the villain known as Renegade. And right now what he's doing is... What exactly? Now, while this is going on, UA is being attacked. And the villains, they are laying in to the heroes. Right on their own school property. Now, a few minutes will go by. And right now Renegade, he would return. As Henry does walk back into the area, you do hear his voice. And Deku, he currently is talking about quite a few things, as he does go to walk up. Now, where Deku does go to walk up, he actually goes to sit down. And he would start to pass out food. As he does talk about how Songbird needs to come over here and get her damn fries. Now, the Red Queen would come to walk over. And right after everybody, they are sitting down and eating. There isn't where Deku he actually would go to tell someone to pick up the camera. Now, they were going to do so. And Deku, whenever the camera is put on him, he would go to toss something down onto the ground. As, right now, there actually is over Momo and Mina do both come running up. Now, there actually is the Denki, Nomu. Whenever he does come running up, Deku, he actually going to toss something down for him. And right now, after he does go look down at it, he does try to rip into a container that does contain food. Meanwhile, there actually is Deku. Whoever he does get to turn and look at the two Nomu, he will get to see the way Mina does react, or Momo, she currently is eating onto a chicken strip. And Deku is going to turn directly to look at her. Now, the camera currently is on Deku. And Deku is going to walk back over, before informing the audience. Oh, they must have missed something. Now, Deku would walk back over, before we're going to bend down, grab a chicken strip, and Rookie hold it up to Mina. 
and right now a lot of people do see the look on Mina's face. As Deku would wave it in front of her face, telling everybody about the story. They should all understand. Mina Ashido. While she was in his custody before, he did quite a lot to her and the other UA students. In fact, there was a UA student named Tokoyami. They all saw his skull earlier. They all saw him use it for his poetic justice. Right now, Mina here, she is afraid of the taste of chicken. Then again, so is Momo. Mina, however, she's the one who probably is more afraid of the taste of pork. Because it would remind her of her dear old friend. The one he made betray his own quirk. The one who gutted himself alive. And, well, Deku, he didn't want to put the chicken to no use. So he did give them something of it. Now, there actually is Mina, who right after Deku does go to Deku bring the chicken up to his mouth and take a bite of it, she actually would to turn away. And Deku would actually go to reach his hand out and grab Deku in her face, turning it back to look at him, before going to take another bite. And right now the look on Mina's face, it would actually just turn into a smile, before Deku would go to hold it out to her, and she actually would go to take a bite of it. And everybody would go to watch. Now, Deku, he would actually go to bring his hand away, patting her on the head and going to stand back up, as he would go to swallow his own food, before the camera would go to pan over to the Todoroki family. And Deku, he actually started to inform many of them, as he would go to walk over, that he brought them food as well. He didn't know what they wanted. So, well, he's got burgers, he's got fries, he's got other types of sandwiches. He did even bring a salad in case anyone wanted some. Then again, well, you know, he's not really one for salad. Now, the three do stare at Deku. And Deku, yeah. Right now he does stare at Rei Todoroki. As he would actually go to walk over, untie her, and hand her some food. Now, Natsuvo and Fumi are both confused. And Deku, he would actually go to inform Songbird as to what to do. Now, Deku would actually go to turn to Natsuvo and ask him, what does he want to eat? Hmm? Uh, what? For food. Of course, I'm not just going to leave you tied up there. Now, what do you want to eat? Tell me, and I can give it to you. Hmm? I just want to be let go, man. Hmm. You see, I can't feed you that. So, again, what do you want to eat? Besides, I at least have to treat your brother... Well, not your brother. I have to keep agreed to the deal I made with your brother. And, well... That deal involved not hurting your sister or your mother. He never said anything about you, though. I wonder why. My brother. Now, Fumi will get a button as well. Is he talking about Shoto? And Deku will get a sort turn to her. Before actually going to step right in front of her and telling her. He'd have to disappoint her and say no. Deku will bring his hand up. And right now he actually will get a sort bring his hand up to her face. And Fumi, she actually started to recoil. She doesn't want him to lay hands on her. She doesn't want him to be even near her. She's hard about this guy. He's treating the UA students as pets. Literal fucking pets. And right now, he's trying to offer them food? Act like friends with them? That's not going to slide. She's not going to allow that to happen. Now. Deku, whenever Fuyumi, she actually would go to try and move her face away. He would go to Doki, bring his hand up. And right now he does go to grab her by the face and tell her, Shoto doesn't have anything to do with this. Shoto, he isn't the one he made a deal with. Right now, he is trying to be a polite and courteous host. So, if she wants to make him impolite, she will try to fight against him again. Besides, 
they do at least have a few more minutes. Yue right now is already under siege. Her brother will be here soon. Now, I think we're going to let go. Before we're actually going to so much pat her on the face, on her cheek, telling her, be good. And, well, she can have an extra set of onion rings. Now, I think we're going to walk back over. And right now, they were going to wait. Right now, Ray, she does go to eat. And after Deku, he does go to tell Ray what to do. Ray, she actually going to listen. And Deku, he's actually kind of intrigued. As after a portal does open up, there is a first somebody does come walking out. And right now, the audience, they're going to see. Mr. Compress, Dobby, and Twice. Now, they're going to stare at them. As right now, Dobby, he actually would go to bring his hand up and go to show a hand full of marbles. And Deku would go to smile. Now, he would go to clap and walk forwards, talking about how, and now today's entertainment can really come full circle. Now, we do actually have the heroes. The heroes are put into a bit of chaos. Nomu, villains, and renegade. That is their current problem. Their current problem was the fact that they cannot trace his broadcast. They're trying to, but it's bouncing off of everywhere. And then there's actually League of Villains. Whenever UA tried to send out a distress call, they found themselves blocked. They found that they couldn't do it. And, well, All Might, he encountered a villain. He encountered a villain that he probably would have never encountered in the main timeline. Muscular. The two had a brief brawl, and All Might was surprised whenever he was also one to encounter the Nomu. These things were here to keep his attention, while Yue, they had their reputation stripped away. Sadly, Muscular, he was captured, and he was taken down. The Nomu, yeah, they only managed to recover some, but hey, they have their students. Now, we do actually have where Todoroki, he is uncompressed. And right now, he does stand there looking around. There is where Deku is going to start walking towards him. And he's actually going to bring up his hands, informing Todoroki as to a few things. Now, Taroki was going to stare directly at Deku. And right now, after he started to bring his right hand up, Deku go to inform him that he really shouldn't do that. Don't use your ice, Todoroki. Now, Todoroki is kind of confused. Uh, how does he know? Now, Todoroki would go to hear another voice. As it does say his name, him turning surprised. As right now, he does turn to see Momo. Momo, she's standing there, and right now, looking at the ground, Denki and Mina? Now, Momo start to walk towards him, and right now, over Todoroki, he actually go to turn his attention to her fully. Deku would go to walk forwards, and right now, Todoroki, yeah. Whenever he does go to start walking towards Momo, Momo does pounce at him, immediately going to force him to the ground, as Deku, he will go to put something in Todoroki's mouth, and then go to tie his hands. Now, Deku would bring his hand directly up to Todoroki's face, and after he does put something into his mind, he does gonna get him onto his feet. Now, he would actually gonna turn directly to Momo, before calling her a good girl, and how she followed his orders to a T. She did not mess up. Now, Todoroki, he does go to walk over towards his family, and after he is forced to sit down, he actually tries to use his ice to break one of the handcuffs. However, he can't use his... What's going on here? Now, Todoroki, Todoroki he does try to whisper between his siblings, and right now, he does hear about how Fuyumi and Natsuo, they both cannot use their own quirks. Now, Deku, currently he does sit there, as after walking back over to his chair, 
Momo. She came over to him. Ever did to start scratching her on the head, there actually was a songbird. Jiro. Jiro, she was actually kind of impressed. Deku, he told Momo to trick Todoroki. Try and see if he thinks there's still something about her that's normal. However, yeah. Todoroki, he thought he saw his friend. He thought he saw the girl he used to know for a second. But then that all changed whenever he was thrown to the ground and tasted defeat. Which tasted like cement. Now, Deku, he was quite happy. And whenever he did get to sit back down, there actually was Dobby, who did get to start asking a few questions. As right now, Deku, he does sit there as Momo. She actually would to sit directly down onto his lap. Him actually going to sort of bring his hand up and scratch her on the ear as he does put his head on her left shoulder. Hmm. What? So what now? Well, we're missing your father. So that's about it. But Yu Wei was good. You have your brother. You have your sister. And, well, your other brother. Now, Tarugi would actually speak up. He doesn't have another brother. Now, Toei would actually still get a turn and look directly at Todoroki. As after he does get a walk up directly to him, he does stare. In Todoroki, he does look at Dobby. This guy's a villain. He killed a student. He saw him do it. This guy, he couldn't be his brother. Never in a million years. Now, Dobby, he would actually just want to walk directly in front of, well, Fiyumi. And he would actually look towards Natsuo. The two look scared of him. And right now he's going to talk about how it's good to see both of them again. Now, the two do stand there surprised. And a few of the people in the live stream, they do go to watch this. As right now, Deku, he does actually go to someone to open his mouth. As right now, Deku... He does have Momo hand him an onion ring. Now, Deku, he actually going to hold on to it. As right now, he does not want to miss a single second of this dumpster fire. Now, Toya, he would actually going to talk to Natsuo and Fumi, And the two are actually kind of alarmed. The way he is talking, the things that he's saying. And right now, after he does go to walk away from those two, those two just stare at him, their eyes wide. There's no way. And right now, Dobby, he would just bend down before bringing his hands out. Hi, Mom. Now, Ray would go to look dorky up at him. As right now, Dobby, he actually would just bring his hands up directly to his hair, talking about how he is sorry about this. She always did love how his red hair used to look. But then it turned white. He does have to say, though. Him actually isn't going to turn towards Deku. Ask him if he has any water. To which Deku, he would actually just don't bring his hand up. Before going to chuck over a bottle. Now, Dobby is going to bring his hand up. Catching it before going to open it up. And right after he's not going to lean forwards and pour the water on his head. He does show everybody everything. His black hair turns white. And right now, the live stream, they see it. As Shoto, he's alarmed. Now, he actually does not stand back up, turning around and expressing. He does have a lot to talk about them about. He has a lot to say to them. He does have to at least tell them one thing, though. Dad sure did put in a little bit of effort. He taught him how to increase the flames, never how to put them out. He taught him how to maximize the output, but never to really just chill. Isn't that ironic? Body built for a nice quirk, yet has firepower behind it. Kind of fucked up, don't you think? Now, Raida stared her son, and now she actually would have burst out into tears. And right now, Toya, 
he would go to walk over, him bending down and bringing his mother into a hug. As Deku, he does watch, and Rhino he actually got a bite into that onion ring. Now, currently they're actually a songbird, and, well, the Red Queen. These two are watching Deku just sit there and enjoy the show, and he does seem to at least like one of his pets. He shows a bit of favoritism. Mina, yeah, she's a new one, and Denki, he might be a loyal dog, but he really doesn't have a brain. It was fried. He does listen, but you might have to repeat yourself. Now, there actually is where Deku he does sit there watching. And right now, after Deku, he would actually somewhat break what's going on. He does ask about exactly the other UA students. And right now, there is one of her, Mr. Compress. He would get a comment. As much as this family reunion is good, he does at least want to do a few other things. Besides, Toya's family history, it is interesting to him. However, well, right now, he does have a few other ideas for what to do. Now, Deku, when Ray does see Mr. Compress, the man will gonna actually bring his hands up. And right now, he will gonna tell Dobby about how he's not gonna sugarcoat this. Right now, he does understand that Renegade, he's dangerous. However, what happens from this point on isn't not, is not on his hands. He wants to make that quite clear. Whatever Renegade plans to do, chop them up, put them in a maze, or make them some part of some twisted game, he is not responsible for. That solely will fall on Dobby and Renegade. Now, Dobby, he does understand. Him actually going to stand back up and walk over. Before Mr. Impress does give Dobby a handful of marbles. Now, Dobby, he will go to walk over to Deku. And right now he does talk about how he does not know what he wants to do with them, but here. Now, Deku does actually count out the students. And right now he is quite happy. As well. Everybody marked in black. The four UA students. Jiroto, Tetsu Tetsu, Ibarra, and... Ha, ah, crap. I put the line of first name. I don't remember how to pronounce his first name, but I believe that's Koroiro. I feel like I butchered that. Anyways, now, a few of the students here marked in red, they got killed. And, well, their loss is, quite simply, the villain's gain. Now, Deku does have four UA students in custody. And right now, Endeavor, he is going to be given a message. He needs to come to a location. Alone. Otherwise, if he shows up with heroes, Deku, he's going to blow something up. Possibly a building. Possibly someone's home that he just sent a package to. Possibly just a random place. Right now it's very late at night, but who's to say that a building he blows up, it won't still have people inside of it. He could put a bomb outside of an apartment complex for all Endeavor knows. Right now though, right now Endeavor, the best thing he can do is show up alone and save his family. If he plays his game, then things will go good. Now, Endeavor, he's given a message. And while Endeavor, he was trying to find the location of the live stream, he actually was also informed about UA. And he did have to divide his attention. Renegade took his son and daughter. Right now, he's going to go after his other son. And whenever Endeavor, he did try to focus on that, trying to save Shoto, he arrived a little too late. However, we do actually have where Deku, he does take Todoroki's phone. And he does go to dial Endeavor before going to put the phone up to his ear. And right now he actually does not take his feedback as he actually does bring his hand up. Now, Deku, yeah. Currently he does sit there, the phone in his right hand, and 
while his hand wrapped around a leash. Now, Endeavor, he actually going to bring his hand up directly to his phone, seeing Todoroki answering it and throwing it up to his ear. Before shouting about how he wants to know if he's safe, he wants to know if he's okay, he wants to know what the hell is going on. Now, Deku actually isn't going to throw the phone away from his ear. Before, after Endeavor is done yelling, he is going to bring the phone directly up to his mouth. Hello, Endeavor. Who is this? <laughs> You'd think after enough times of talking and being on the news, the number two hero would at least know my name. Know my voice. You're him, aren't you? You're a renegade. I know where you are. <laughs> no the fuck you don't. Listen, bro. I'm going to give you my location. Right here, right now. Although, I'm probably going to have to text it to you. So the live stream doesn't snitch. Now. Right now we're going to play a game. You're going to answer for your sins. If you can't. If you watch the live stream. Well, you are going to have to play a penalty. You can't know the little secrets I do. Now, I want you to understand and listen to me. Come here alone. Otherwise, I will gut your son. Now, Endeavor, he does go to clutch his teeth. And Rhino Dobby does go to look to at Deku. Before Deku doesn't go to inform him. His wife, she's very mentally broken. He harmed her quite badly. Maybe she'd make a good Nomu. Maybe she'd listen. I mean, Momo enjoys her place. Momo likes being where she is. And Mina. Mina, she didn't like Deku. She didn't like him. She hated him. But now. Now he has her wrapped around his little finger. She will listen and obey every word. As if it is a gospel. So. Come here, come alone. And his family will survive. Hell, he might even learn a lot more about his family. That's what this game will be. Trivia on the Todoroki family. And well, every member of the cast is here. Now, with that being said, Endeavor, he does actually go to hang up the phone. And right now Deku would actually just want to send a message before going to snap the phone in half and going to toss it over his shoulder. Before, he actually going to start to look directly at Momo. And he actually going to start to ask her, as he has leaned back, if she does think that Endeavor, he is going to be a hard ass. If she thinks that Endeavor, he is going to bring pros. Now, Momo, she doesn't know what to say. And right after she does actually start going to turn and stare at Deku, Deku going to start to lean forwards bring his hand up, and actually moving his head directly next to hers. And Rana she was going to stare at him very closely as the two. They actually do stare at each other, well, inches apart. Now, there actually is Jiro. As right now she actually does have her face turn a bit red, and she is a bit angry. Deku, he's showing a bit of favoritism. He's showing that he wants to, well, you know bond with his animals, but then again, it's a bit weird for her to see. Deku doesn't show affection, but right now he's trying to, what, quiz Momo? Now, Momo will go to try and give an answer, and Deku, he would actually start going to throw his head backwards, laughing, talking about how maybe she could be right, but then again, her being wrong is also an option, so let's see where this will go. Now, with that being said, Deku, yeah, he has more UA students in custody. He has the Todoroki family, and right now the number two hero. He is rushing to a location. He can't tell anybody else, otherwise his family could die. But there's what that villain said. 
everyone is there. If this villain, if this villain dug up his son, broke into his home at night and stole his ashes, if this villain plans to sprinkle them through the air, he is going to be mad. That's what he would do, wouldn't it? Maybe that container back at home isn't even Toya. Maybe he replaced it with a bomb. Maybe after all this is done, that thing will go off. He takes them back home, Vernegay goes to jail, and a bomb goes off in his home. Now, Endeavor, yeah. He does decide to at least call something in. And right now, after a few people, they do try to at least contact Endeavor, try and understand where he might be heading to, he does shake them off. He tells them quite plainly, at his home, there is an urn. Next to it is a picture of his son. He wants them to take it away from his house because it might have been replaced with an explosive. So, be careful and do not contact him. Now, Endeavor would have, hang up, would have hung up the phone. And after he did so, he did head off. Right now, he needs to understand what to do. He needs to understand what's going on. Now, as Endeavor is heading to this location, there is Deku. He is getting ready to have fun. He is getting ready for his little game. And right now, some of the traps they've been set. Some of the things Deku wanted the world to know have been heard. And right now, the Todoroki family, they know about Toya. But the world has yet to hear. Because Deku... He wanted to keep that hidden from Endeavor. And if Endeavor does watch the live stream, he'd be a bit confused. He'd see his wife cry. He'd see the expression on his family's faces. He'd know that Deku, he's not trying to hurt them. But if he does know that, this won't be as fun. Endeavor might be too relaxed, too go with the flow, willing to follow what he says because he is not a threat at the moment. So really, Endeavor only has himself to blame for either overestimating or underestimating him. Now then, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.